We live in some of the most fantastic parts of the country. We have great communities, great countryside, great people and fantastic businesses and we're very much at the heart of all of that. And we want to ensure that our customers can continue to enjoy great tasting, clean water and also to be able to rely on us to take away dirty water and treat that effectively and return it to the environment. And we want to make sure that we're doing that not only today but for many generations to come. Because water and wastewater treatment is a long-term business and we know now that the decisions that we're taking are going to affect the way that we impact the environment and the way that we produce that clean water for many, many years to come. And this plan is about how we plan to do that for the next 25 years. One thing that we've learned if you try to look back 25 years is it's actually really quite difficult to predict the future, particularly the way it feels at the moment like life is moving at a million miles an hour. Who would have thought that, you know, when we were thinking 25 years ago in the 80s that we would be able to watch TV on a phone or that people would be driving around our cities in electric cars and this would be a mainstream way of transport. And so we have to try and think about all of those things and what difference they're going to make to all of our lives. So whilst it's perhaps difficult to predict the future, I think one thing that we know is that we need to adapt. Sometimes things that we thought we'd predicted can change and we need to be able to move and change to those different circumstances all of the time. So we've tried to look at the world through the eyes of different characters and what might that mean for them. We've got Elle, a 10 year old who's doing a school project and see what she's thinking about and what is she learning about water. And then we've got Jo, a 70 year old who's about to retire from, her, from our company. What does her world look like and what many things has she looked back on over the years that she's worked in Northumbrian water? And you can see more characters in our storybook, Imagine Life in 2040. So in the future, there'll be many things that seem absolutely mind-blowing and we can't even begin to imagine them, but we do know that many of these will become a reality. They'll feel possible. So in thinking about the future, we've looked at trends and we've taken advice and guidance from many experts in different fields to challenge our thinking and to see what we should be focusing on when planning over that kind of time scale. We thought about people and society. We thought about the way that we work. We thought about what will happen with climate change and our landscapes. What will be different there? We've also thought about wider global themes and perhaps politics and economics and what will change. We thought about technology. And we've also thought about the infrastructure that our country needs. We obviously are impacted by planning for roads, railways, energy, communications and of course water. And it's important for us to think that far out because when we're planning today, when we're planning for the things that we're going to do in the next five years, we, we're trying to get ready for those 25 years. We're trying to put our best foot forward to get ourselves in the best place to meet and exceed our customer expectations. So our outcomes in 2040 describe what we're going to do and what we're going to change in order to deliver against those challenges. So whatever life is like in 2040, we want to make sure that we're providing affordable, world-class water and wastewater services so that our customers can be sure that they're receiving the best possible service that we can provide.